everybody, it's Miss Harris. Welcome to Bedtime Story Hours. Today, we're gonna to be talking a little bit about spring. We're very excited because spring has finally sprung. Are you excited for spring? Well, my first story today is called Spring Store, and it's by Stephen Schnurr, and it's and illustrated by Stacy Schiffner. And we'd like to thank Viking Press for allowing us to read our story today. So Spring Thaw by Stephen Schnarr. For Elizabeth the Harbinger of Spring. It begins with a warm wind late at night, sighing through the hemlock trees. Swaying branches and shaking loose the heavy snow that fell all day and turned fields and frozen lakes and distant rooftops white. That doesn't seem so long ago, does it? The old house begins to creak as wooden floors breathe in the warm, moist air. Water trickles from the roof, drop by drop. Oh, I see icicle melting. Do you see icicles melting? A raccoon stirs its winter den, then climbs up into the snow, its dark eyes shining in the white light of the rising moon. Do you see the light shining in his eyes? A round belly doe pauses at the edge of the woods, leaving behind heart shaped footprints. Do you see them in the snow? By morning, thin streams of water snake down the window panes. A cardinal sings from the branch of a pine tree, then darts across the barnyard to peck at kitchen crumbs scattered over the melting snow. Did you see the cardinal there? And the birds eating? A wagon leaves the barn, its narrow wheels cutting deeply into the snow, turning it brown. The horse's hooves grow muddy. The sun climbs high into the blue sky. By mid-morning, a thousand tiny streams run from the roof like a curtain of crystal beads. Suddenly, a thick sheet of snow breaks free, slides towards the edge of the roof, and crashes to the ground. Oh, I bet you've seen that recently. On a distant white hilltop, a patch of brown appears. A flock of geese settle upon it, pecking at the wet grass. See them pecking at the wet grass? And you know what else I see down here? I see a rabbit. Do you see the rabbit hiding down here? Yeah. The rabbit's blending in with the snow. Where the stream leaves the frost, the ice melts away. Black water ripples over gray stones, carving a glistening silver line across the meadow. All afternoon, the frozen lake echo, ex, echoes with the snapping and cracking of icy surfaces. On the south side of the barn, the snow recedes laying bare a small mountain of autumn hay. Three-week-old lambs 
burrow into it and fall asleep. Yep. You see the little lambs? Can you count them? One, two, three. Nice. Good job. By late afternoon, the maple buds glow faintly red. Buckets hanging from syrup spa spills over into the snow. That's where you get your maple syrup from, those maple trees. Thank you, trees. Before returning to the barn, the farmer pauses to watch the sun set. For the first time in months, the yellow light feels warm upon his face. Spring, he whispers with a smile. Spring at last. Do you feel spring? Do you think it's finally come? Has all your snow melted away? Have you seen any buds start to bloom? Any flowers coming up? Well, I hope you enjoyed our story. I have quite another one for you. This one is called Spring. And we'd like to thank Baron for allowing us to read our story. Winter is coming to an end. Snow starts to melt and almond trees bloom. It is springtime. The weather is a little crazy. It is sunny, it rains, sometimes it even hails. And then a rainbow appears in the sky. Can you count how many colors it has? I see red. Orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. That's seven. That's also known, known as Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, violet. The sun rises a little earlier and sets a little later. It gets warmer and warmer. What time do you go to school if you go to school? What time do you get home? Have you noticed that it's staying a little lighter out now? We have longer hours of sunlight in the, in the spring. Ooh, look at all the beautiful flowers. They appear everywhere and trees grow leaves again. Everything is full of color. What color are all these flowers? Take a look, what do you see? I see red and yellow, orange, white, green, pink, red, blue, purple. It's like all the colors of the rainbow. In the fields, farmers start sowing with water and the heat from the sun. Each seed will become a new plant. Hopefully, maybe you'll grow some seeds. Check out the library next month for some seeds. But you can get started even before then. Swallows those are kinds of birds. They come back looking for their nest they abandoned in the fall. Do you know what the nests are made of? I see some up there. Do you see them? Sometimes twigs and leaves and hair. All kinds of things you can make a nest out of. Oh, do you see anything else besides the birds? I see some insects. 
and a lizard. Do you see some insects too? I think we're going to talk about them in a little while. On the farm, many animals are born and they follow their mothers everywhere. Some come from their mother's belly and others are born from eggs. See if you can guess how these little lambs are born. I'll give you a hint. The mammals come from their mom and the birds come from eggs. So where do you think the rabbits come from? And the chicks, and the hens, and the ponies, and the sheep. Talk it over with an adult nearby. Ponds are full of tadpoles, just out of eggs. A few weeks later, they'll become crown frogs. Help them find flies to eat. Can you help our friend the frog find some flies? Oh, here you go. There you go, Mr. Frog. Bees. Look at all the beautiful bumblebees. Bees love spring. They fly from flower to flower, make delicious honey with the nectar they pick up. How many legs does a bee or an insect have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So they have six legs, but don't confuse their antenna. And our spiders or our arachnids, they have eight. But look at all the fun things you can do with honey. The sun is warm. There's a nice soft breeze. Let's play outside. Maybe you'll play jump rope or with your tennis or badminton racket. Maybe you'll play with your ball or your skateboard or your bicycle. Maybe you'll play with your tops and your marbles. Maybe you'll even play hopscotch or roller skate. What do you like to play outside? That sounds fun. I like that too. There are special holidays in spring such as Easter and Passover. How many hidden eggs can you find? Let's see, how many can we find? Oh, I see one down here by my finger. And there's another one. Oh, there might be even one in the tree and up here in the nest. And each of our friends has one in their hand. Do you see any more? Do oh, you see one down here and over here? I don't know, did we find them all? It's fun to look for Easter eggs. It's time to take care of plants at home, at the park, and also to rearrange your closet. You have outgrown your clothes from last year for sure. Yeah, you can help go through your closet and take all the things that don't fit you anymore. You can donate them. You can also help plant some fruits and vegetables or some flowering plants. Also help get ready for spring. Fields and gardens are full of fruits and vegetables. Watermelons, red grants, radishes. Can you recognize any of the others? How many can you and your family find? A 
I see lettuce, the beans, carrots, and turnips. I see watermelon, and I see zucchini and radishes, and cranberries and strawberries, orange and peaches. Did you find any others? Oh, let's take a look. Do you see all the different types of insects? Yes, birds like to eat the insects. There's all different kinds. And remember, insects always have six legs. So ladybug and other beetles, grasshoppers, praying mantis, dragonflies, not to mention our lovely butterflies and flies and ants. So I hope you like our friends, the insects in spring. All right, I have one more book for you. The Spring Book by Todd Parr. Thank you for Hatchet Books for allowing us to read this. Oh, hmm, wake up. Spring is coming. Look, our bear family's waking up. I'm hungry. Yep, they slept all winter, but now that it's March and spring has sprung, they're waking up. Every day, the weather is different. Rainy some days, and then snowy, and then windy, and then sunny. I think we saw all of those in the past week. And then our trees are blooming. See how the little buds and the flowers are about to come out? Everything is turning green. We've got our clovers, not to mention our frogs, and sometimes even our friends. Not to mention changes in the air. International Women's Day. Yep, March is Women's History Month. Spring is here, the birds are singing. Can you sing like a bird? Can you chirp? <laughs> can you can you chirp like a bird? I think this bird wants to be a rock and roll star. What do you think? And look at all the little bunnies. The bunnies are being born. How many can we count? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen bunnies. And we're cleaning out our closets, not just our clothes, but we can also clean out our toys, the things that we don't play with anymore. We can donate them and planting gardens. There's all kinds of community gardens, as well as gardens you can grow in your backyard. You can even grow some in your house. And everyone is sneezing. Ah, 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 achoo! Remember, you've got to cover your nose and mouth when you sneeze, either with your hand or your elbow and your arm. But that's from all the pollen and the dust. Spring is a time of year to learn new things. But look, the sheep are learning how to play kickball. Okay, well then I'm gonna stop writing this book and I'm going to open my first restaurant. Taco Todd's, the end, love Todd. Hey, but Todd, wait, wait, surprise. Oh, you fooled us. April 
little fools. Don't worry, this story is not over yet. Did you get fooled? Did Todd fool you? He fooled me. I thought he was gonna try to trick me and make the book end right now. But I'm not ready to end it. I still wanna read some more. Do you want me to read some more? Then let's keep going. Springtime is a time to dance in the rain. Yep, you got your galoshes or your boots and your raincoat. And you can go splashing in the rain. Who likes to go out in the rain? You like to go out in the rain? Play in the puddles? You can celebrate traditions with family and friends. You can even play hide and seek. And of course, love the earth. We can't forget Earth Day. That's in the spring. Spring is a time for festivals where you can have music and dancing, not to mention eating fresh fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market or some that you grow on your own. De colores de vista los campos in aprivamelo. So the beautiful colors dress all the spring flowers. Having picnics. Oh, I think the ants like that. They especially like the hot dogs and the watermelon and the cupcakes. Not to mention hugging moms on Mother's Day and every day. Don't worry, we don't want to leave out dads, but that's, that's summer. We'll get to that one soon. And honoring our heroes in Memorial Day in May, even our dogs and other rescue pets. Now, Go round down some hills. Happy spring. That's my favorite thing to do. Rolling down the hill in the spring and summer. So spring is a time of year to celebrate special holidays and discover all the beautiful things on the earth. Now this time it's really the end. Love Todd. So I hope you enjoyed our story the springtime book, and all our other stories today. Spring thaw and spring the season. So my friends, now it's time to go to bed, but hopefully you'll be able to do some of these springtime activities in the days and weeks to come. Bye my friends, see you next month.